Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Um, wow. Mm, 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 mm. There is a war going on right now between the Dallas Cowboys and um, their flagship station, 105 The Fan, and us morons. Um, Shan on 105 has come through and said that content creators are morons. And there's a feud going on right now, or a titter, a titter, Twitter, excuse me, an X battle, my, uh, Elon Musk on X, battle going on between 105, the fan, and Shan, and all that, and Jay Tuck. Because Jay Tuck, I, I thought about this yesterday when this happened. I was live streaming yesterday. Um, we've heard about, you know, Dak Prescott's filed a $100 million lawsuit or filed a lawsuit against an individual who's slandering him who was basically trying to extort $100 million. I don't know. I, I was not there. And, and we have to wait for the legal system to come out and figure out what's what and who's who. But it's kind of crazy that something that happened seven years ago, that it happens right about this time that we have Dak Prescott's contract situation. And I've kind of mentioned in things, one of the things the Cowboys, or it just seems to happen, is it seems like whenever there is a contract, a big contract negotiations, we go through and we trash the players. And it's amazing because I felt like this is a parallel with Des Bryant. Now, Des Bryant did have some incidents that happened um, outside of football that, you know, the mall incident with his pants hanging down and this, that, and the other. But we heard this crazy story that came out from Mike uh, Farello that there might be a tape of Des Bryant that's 10 times worse than Ray Rice. And we're still waiting for the tape. And that literally set off a firestorm. And then we would hear things like, you know, the police were called to Des Bryant's house, you know, six times. Not putting in there that, like, one of the times is because a baby was locked in the car by accident and stuff. That one of the times that it was somebody who it was the wrong house. You know, but they made it sound like Miami Vice is coming there with the SWAT team and everything else and that he's a gangster. But all these things happen in, you know, by the same time that they were working on his contract. And I was like, okay, this is kind of crazy that this thing happens about the same time that we're talking about a contract. And then people, when we were doing our live stream yesterday with the Cowboys inactivity in free agency, I heard that the opposition's attorneys were on 105 The Fan. And I was kind of like, Really? You guys don't have any facts one way or the other, and you're putting the attorney for the other guys on there? And it's kind of like, this is kind of crazy. Now, this is the Cowboys station, of course. And it's not far-fetched to think that maybe the Cowboys have influence over them. Now, there is the old media. Radio, TV, you know, magazines and, you know, uh, network news. Those guys, the journalists that went to school, that have been respected in their um, categories and things and have done incredible stuff. That's the old media. Unfortunately, the old media is kind of dying out. You have new media, which now is people sitting at their desk in their basement, maybe their mama's basement even, or in an old 200-year-old house that give you your opinions that are untethered to or answering to anybody else other than you. To you. That are free to give their opinions unbiased by an organization. And that is growing, which becomes a threat to the old media. It's kind of crazy that comments by Jay Tuck about the possibility that they're trying to influence public opinion to help negotiate a contract are not that far off. The fact that the old media has to come out and literally try to trash the new media 
which they are now trying to become a part of. Make no mistake about it, okay? Nobody watches ESPN's first take for, I don't even know how long it's on. That, that's how, is it, is it two and a half hours or is it two hours? Undisputed with Skip Bayless, numbers are cratering. And those guys are trying to become the new media into this platform because the old media is kind of like a bookstore. It's kind of like a landline phone. Not too many people go to the bookstores anymore. Not too many people use the phone anymore. People are coming right here. And so this is where I look at this and I say, dig a little deeper and think about this. What the Cowboys are doing right now, their inactivity and free agency, the we're going to wait till August to do Dak Prescott's contract is a way of saying, well, you know, we wanted to, we wanted to go all in when they really didn't because they don't want to spend money. This isn't anything different. We want to go all in, but you know, Dak Prescott and his agent, you know, they're being greedy and they're getting you set, they're getting you set up for this. When you literally hear one of the shows literally say, I'd rather take Baker Mayfield and his $35 million contract. I'd rather take Kirk Cousins, you know, and his $45 million contract. You know, I'm done with it. Okay. You, you don't think that that's not at least welcomed by the Cowboys that own the station? That you're not doing the business or you're definitely smiled upon for doing something like that? If you get a chance... Go through and and see my man, Jay Tuck, CFO Sports. Shout out to him. Um, but you got Shane. I've addressed it um, all at the 720, and I have multiple times over 13 years. You can choose to believe it or not that they are. Let's see. Anyone who thinks Jerry planted that interview to bring Dax Price down is a moron. Well, I guess I'm a moron then. Um were you part of the narrative yesterday? So that was, yeah. So Jay Tuck's response on this is, so there's a very reputable people who work inside of the Cowboys and call out the station yesterday. So you are morons or only these podcasts. <coughs> Just curious. Um, so yeah, that, that they're literally going back and forth. So I guess I'm a moron. I'm glad that they clarified that. I don't know why the Dallas Cowboys, that we are literally a soap opera. If Jerry Jones' whole thing is to win the media, the fact that we got all this stuff going on, that this is what everybody's talking about in free agent frenzy when teams are going out here and trying to build, then Jerry Jones is the winner because he ultimately has all of us, all of us literally losing our minds and only talking about them boys. All right, good people. Um, we'll definitely be following this one because it's getting ugly now that all hell is breaking loose with the Dallas Cowboys. And I thought that uh, two years ago was an ugly off season. Strap in. It's about, it's about to get crazy in here.